Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP, and today I wanted to talk about a new plugin, and it's called Lightweight Accordion. And why I'm so excited is because I actually made the plugin, so I might be a little bit biased, but I think it's pretty good. It's actually less than one kilobyte of assets to get this awesome accordion effect. And best of all, it's free and has no paid upgrades. So at first, let me show you how to install it, and then I'll show you its features. Now, I'm already logged into my dashboard, so if you just go to Plugins, Add New, the plugin is called Lightweight Accordion. So if you just type that into the search in your WordPress dashboard, you'll see the plugin right here by me, Andy Filicotti. Right now it has 400 active installs, but maybe you'll be the 500th. Maybe. So let me hop into the features of the plugin. It has a lot of options. It works for Gutenberg, but it also works for the classic editor. It has a really in-depth short code and there's lots of options you can do with that, but I'm gonna be showing the Gutenberg version that lets you use the same options, but there's more of a UI to edit them. So uh, let's just hop into a post. So you can see I'm in a post here. We're gonna add the accordion. We'll just click add block and we'll type in lightweight. And you can see lightweight accordion right here. And you can see here we have our example accordion. Um, so let's start building it out. So the beauty of these is that you can add stuff in your content that may be really long and you don't wanna burden the user with it all at one time. So like, for example, if you have an FAQ page, uh, right here I wrote, what is your return policy? Um, for something like this, you would also wanna add schema. So you can see in our options here, we have schema markup and you can do FAQ. So that's just gonna add the schema markup in there for an FAQ section. And then in this area, you can actually add all of the blocks and things you want that's actually inside the content. You can tell by the dotted line on the outside what's inside here. So I'm gonna actually add a column and we can add an image and we'll just add some example text. And let's update our post and let's view it. So you can see by default, uh, the box is actually closed and then you can click to open it and that's how the, view, the user will use it. So you can see you just click and it instantly opens and it's using only CSS and native HTML. There's no extra JavaScript and nothing like that. So it won't slow down your pages, which is the best part of all. And you can see here, as I scroll down, I have some other examples. You can also set a, a color and a border. So I'll show you how to do that. And this one, for example, is already open by default and that's great too. So let's hop in back into our page. And to edit the actual accordion options, we have to click up here and see we have the lightweight accordion as a whole selected. So you can see we have open by default as an option, a border, and of course color settings. So you can change the background. Of course, if you change the background, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, change the text color to white or something like that. And of course, in advance, you can add your own custom CSS classes. Now let's update the page and take a look. And you can see now we have a border and it matches the background color. And additionally, I'll show you some examples that my friend Ryan has on his blog. He actually uses the plugin as well. So if I scroll down here, he has a blog post about how to start a blog. And there's a lot that goes into making a blog. So there's probably a bunch of questions that people might, might already know and they don't want to see the information right when they load the page. So for example, he has information like what is a blog? Should I start a blog? Like this information might not be useful for everybody, but people who want to know more about each topic, they can click and get more information. And I think that's really the best use for this plugin is adding contextual information that the visitor wants at one given moment. And real quick, I'll show you the plugin page. So you can see here, here it is on wordpress.org. I'm gonna scroll down a bit and you can see that there's actually um, all of the short code examples. So if you're using the classic editor, this is how you would use it. Just copy and paste these examples and you can fill in your content and things like that. And additionally, all of the options that I just showed are in the short code options. So having it open by default or having a border, the colors, the schema, things like that, super easy to customize. And if you're a developer and you wanna have your own CSS, the CSS file included is extremely small, but if you have your own CSS, you can add this filter to your site and it'll actually not load the CSS file, which is an extremely useful way for optimizing your page speed. So yeah, that's my new plugin, Lightweight Accordion. I hope it's useful, definitely check it out. Um, if there's any features or things like that, let me know in the comments. I would love to add more to the plugin. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and check out smartwp.com for more WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and, and check out the plugin. See ya.